After a long day at work, most of us get to head home, get a little bit of sleep, but for firefighters, completely different story. Most work uh, for the shifts are 48 hours, which requires sleeping on the job. And with all those constant emergency calls, it is not always easy. Nine News reporter Evan Krugel is live inside West Metro Fire Station 3 with a new study that is looking to change that. This is so interesting and so important for their health. It is so important, Sam. This is one of the busier fire stations in the district, as you can see by this completely empty bay behind me. All of these units are out on calls right now. But when these firefighters get back, this is where they try to catch some sleep. Each firefighter has their own room and their own bed where they try to sleep during those long shifts. Here's the problem. We all know they get called out on those medical calls, those fire calls, so sleep can be a very hard to come by. That's why one firefighter here is now tracking the sleep habits of nearly 200 coworkers to try and see if changes can be made to keep firefighters on top of their game. We run on this stuff. Life at a fire station often revolves around the coffee pot. I think it's just a constant stream. Just keep me right under the ulcer point. Mike Benny has yeah, been yep. fueling his 48 hour shifts like this for years <laughs> and recently uh, had a thought. It's got to be a more efficient way to do this. So Mike is <laughs> turning to technology, outfitting nearly 200 firefighters throughout West Metro with smartwatches that can track their sleeping patterns. Right now we have 197 people that are live streaming data into our platform. So this is one arm of the research. The early returns show something Mike says we already know. Firefighters don't typically sleep well. I think that's safe to say, but I think there are a lot of factors that go into it and there's a lot of opportunity. I think this is ripe for improvement and now we'll be able to prove it and justify what those improvements are. Mike is a graduate student at Yale and says after the data is collected, he hopes they can find concrete ways to get firefighters more sleep. Things like changing lighting at the station or even switching up who responds to calls at certain times of day. Maybe it's not the big thing. Maybe it's five little things we can do that create a better return on human performance than, you know, hitting the, the nail with the big hammer. So, yeah, now we have it on paper. Now we got to do something about it. Yeah, so these beds are quite often empty during those 48 hour shifts. Mike says it's critical firefighters get good sleep when they have the time to actually do so. They're going to continue gathering this data for the next couple of months and then hope to compile it into real world solutions that could potentially help out firefighters across the country. We're live in Lakewood. Evan Krugel, 9 News. Thank you so much, Evan.